Ho oh, ho, look at this guy. This here is a beauty of a yellow perch. 13 and a half inches. Yeah, we don't catch them like this. This is actually probably the biggest one I've caught in a couple years. And I've done a bunch of research and my, the question kept coming, how long does it take for a purse to get 10, 12, 13, 14, 16 inches? And there's a way to find out. These, uh, this part of the gill plate, this kind of triangular piece right here is called the opecular bone. You can actually boil that or get it in hot water and rub it even with your fingers and get the little bit of scales off the, or just skin off the surface. Let it dry on the windowsill overnight, and the next day you will see growth rings. I'll do a video on actually how to age fish, but last year I aged a lot of them. And the number that came up kind of blew my mind. In fact, I called a uh, fisheries biologist and I asked them, like, am I doing this right? Am I aging them right? And they said yes. So the findings was, it's basically in this food uh, source where they're eating here in Lake George, one inch per year, which is crazy. So this, the last time, I did a 14 inch perch uh, two years ago and it came up as 13 years old. This is probably a 12 or 13 year old fish. That is older than my daughter. So, <laughs> so it's not that quick. That We think because, hey, these are kind of a low on the food chain uh, item that they grow really fast. They don't. It takes a lot of time. So this guy here, this is your standard seven inch perch. And a lot of people hate me because I keep this fish. Uh, on the population line, the vast majority are in this six, seven year class. This would be a nine, 10 year class fish here. And this guy here is in his, like an elite class. And what fisheries biologists have told me is that keeping the fish in these classes is far more sustainable for the population. Not that you should throw back, I mean, I'm only keeping one or two of these a year, but if you focused on these and threw everything else back and tried to get the 11, 12, 13 year old perch, what you'd end up doing is culling over the fish, culling out the fish that have the highest success rate on their eggs. They might have the best genetics, it might be like a big buck, but it has definitely been proven that the eggs of these bigger perch, a far larger percentage of their eggs reach maturity than the younger ones. For whatever, there's a significant amount of reasons. Now your lake might have different feed. These guys are eating nymphs, they're eating uh, uh, freshwater shrimp, and this is their growth rate. Other lakes, like Devil's Lake and stuff, where there's a significant amount of crayfish feed and there's a real significant amount of actual minnow feed, you'll find that they grow faster. But th that is a strange curve because their mouth size isn't big enough for a minnow until they reach, depending on the size of the minnow, seven, eight inches. So it might take them seven years to get seven inches and then they may blow up quite a bit from there in size because they're, they're eating stuff that has much more protein nutrients per, per meal and they can increase in size. But for the most part in this area, it's one inch per year. And I would highly recommend if you can keep 50 fish, that you keep the 50 fish, the first 50 decent fish that you catch. Don't cull through and only take the big ones. So that's the news for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in ice fishing and fishing for perch particularly, check out our channel. We have lots of videos on that topic. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.